What's good folks, it's your boy Dookie. I wanted to give you a really quick tutorial on how to update or flash the BIOS on your Gigabyte motherboard using the QFlash process. I'm currently using the Gigabyte AB350 Gaming, not the three or the other variants, but this should apply across the board. But first and always, make sure you read your motherboard's manual before you get started. Make sure you do your research before you go too far, okay? But I'm gonna show you my process on how I updated my motherboard. Let's go. Now first you wanna go to the website of your motherboard and find your specific model and download the updated BIOS for that model. Now during the QFlash process, it says you can either use a floppy drive, USB drive, or have the file saved on your hard drive. I'm using a USB drive. Now real quick, your USB drive has to be FAT32, so, you have a, if you have a USB drive that's formatted in a whole different way, you need to go on there, format it as FAT32 so it can be read by your motherboard during the process. Now I apologize for pointing the camera at the screen. I don't have this machine hooked up to my capture device. Now what you wanna do is plug in your USB drive with the update file on it and restart the machine to get into the BIOS. Now you wanna make sure that as the machine is starting up, you hit the delete key to get into the UEFI. All right, now that we're in the motherboard settings, the new BIOS should have better overclocking for the memory and overall stability so we're going to go down here to Q flash Q flash is where we're going to go in now you can also do this through Windows there's a program with the gigabyte app center called at BIOS I'm not going to use that but there are videos about that um, maybe I'll do another video for that at a different time but we're going to just try this one and see what's good like I said, you can see over here that I'm running the Gigabyte AB350 Gaming BIOS version F2. This is, I want to say, one of the first versions of the BIOS that was on this board. Uh, BIOS updated was February 2017, uh, February 20th, 2017. So that's, that's how I did it. That's how I got it straight out of the box. Um, so we're going to go ahead. This will be the first time I've updated the BIOS myself. Here, we're gonna go ahead and click update BIOS. So you can either update your BIOS or save it. You know, if you're, if you're worried about, you know, making sure you have your, you know, file set a certain way. So we're gonna do update BIOS. Uh, you can see that it recognizes it right here. This is the file that I picked. It's coming off of my uh, USB thumb drive. And so this is the AB350 Gaming. This is the update file. So we're just gonna double click on that. and press to start let's go ahead and let it start and see what happens uh and it recognized it over here that this is it this is the current flash of what we have and you see is bios version f2 this one down here is bios version f7a bios date 9 15 2007 9 15 2017 so we're just going to hit this press to start and see what happens. Now I sped it up here to about 2000%, but in all actuality, it only really took about three minutes and 40 seconds. And it did start up two or three times before going. Okay, let's go down here to Q Flash. Let's see what's up. So now if you look up here, it says model gaming AB350 version F7A. So we have the newest BIOS installed. Let's escape. Now, one of the things I did read that it said you should do is go into your save and exit and load optimize defaults. Now, this will just take it back to all its basic defaults because it's reading all everything as if brand new with the new BIOS. So we're gonna load optimized defaults. All right, load opt optimized defaults, yes. So now we go into here. And you can see everything is back to stock. Let me know if this video helped. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. I'll try to get back at you. It's your boy Dookie.